We get a lot, Julia. Deductibility of interest. How can you help here? Well, we've got these new rules now. The push not going to get a deduction uh, for interest when the property's not earning income. But yes, if um, you borrow to improve an investment property, then the interest on that borrowing is going to start to become deductible once you it's producing rent. Now, part of the borrowings is to make the interest repayments on the loan while you're not being able to earn rent, I gather, mm. called capitalising interest. Capitalising interest, <laughs> yes. Well, the tax office um, like to say, no, 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 capitalising interest is not. But there are cases that say that whatever the capitalised interest was doing, the interest on the new loan is treated the same. So no, capitalised interest is all right. The tax office throw part 4A at it and say, well, the dominant purpose of doing that was to get a tax deduction. So it's void. We're not yeah. going to allow you that interest deduction. Now, obviously, if he's not earning rent and he's doing the reno, he can't afford to make the interest free payments on the loan during that time. So he's capitalising them in the loan tax deduction. It's not a dominant purpose of it. In fact, the dominant purpose is to improve the rent from the property in the end. So... And for him to stay afloat cash flow wise yeah. <laughs> during the payments. Um, I think the key takeaway for deductibility of interest in my experience is just um, always be thinking about the purpose of the loan, not the security. Because quite often most people are, are thinking about the security. Well, I've, in, I've got this loan for X that's secured against an investment property. So therefore, isn't it deductible? No, just because it's secured against an investment property. I want to know what the X is over here. Because if that X is for a jet ski for your weekend recreation, no. But if that is for some shares or some form of income producing purpose, um, generally speaking, that is what the ATO is going to be looking at the deductibility of the interest for, what the X is over here, not what the security is. And I would say uh, four out of every five questions that we get on this topic, Julia, absolutely relate to confusion around collateral or security versus the dominant purpose of why they've got the loan. What about claiming interest? So um, someone's listening to this and they've they bought up some land and they want to build it. And when they build it, they're going to rent it out. And it's going to become an investment property. What about the interest um, during the build phase? The intention is for it to be available for rent. Clearly during the building phase, you can't rent it. But the whole intention through this loan process is to get to that point. What about the deductibility of interest for that? Because a lot of our listeners will fall into that category. Yeah, no, they changed the law recently for the mums and dads, not the big mm. end of town, but you <laughs> can't get the, the interest as a tax deduction during the construction phase. The certificate of completion must be issued and it must be genuinely available for rent before you can start claiming the interest. But of course, you, if you can't afford the interest, you could capitalise that into the loan. You won't get a deduction for it. Mm. You will get to include it in your cost base. And then the interest on the interest, once you've rented the property out, would be deductible. 